always, welcome to our weekly vodcast. I hope that you guys are having an incredibly awesome weekend, staying warm from this incredibly cold weather. I have a ton of announcements to get to, and then I'm going to get you guys off to the strategy session for the day. First of all, a couple of things once again this week. Um came home in the Friday folder. A middle school permission form. We will be going to the middle school for orientation on April 4th. That's an in-school field trip. It's only from about 9 to 11 in the morning. And then that night, there's actually there are actually events for parents at each middle school that you can also attend. But in the meantime, I need that um, permission form back as soon as possible. Now you received a permission slip for the school that your child is currently zoned for. If you have any questions about that, you can certainly contact our guidance counselor, Mrs. Gardella. I just can't believe that we are already talking middle school orientation room 21 Rockstar families. Um, but because I am not ready to give up these Room 21 Rockstars. We are having an awesome year. But that form is in the Friday folder. Make sure you sign and return that as soon as possible. Tuesday is pie day. If you can send in anything round, doesn't have to be a dessert, could also be something savory, send it in round. Um, we are going to be learning how to measure the radius, circumference, diameter of a circle. That's going to help us with our measurement unit. It's an, always an awesome day um, for Pi Day in Room 21. If we happen to have snow on Tuesday, which it's lo looking more likely, and we are not in school, we will have and celebrate Pi Day the day that we return. So please send those items in. We will be celebrating Pi Day the day that we return, whenever that may be if we do happen to have some snow. So I just wanted to kind of pass that along uh, to you guys as well. I also wanted to congratulate this week's rock star of the week, Mr. Caleb Crutchley. Caleb has had amazing guided reading conversations, putting forth so much passion, so much enthusiasm, so much energy. And for all of those reasons, Caleb is this week's rock star of the week. Congratulations to Caleb. One other announcement, um, guys, that I almost forgot before I get to get you off to the strategy session would be our field trip is coming up on March 29th. I sent home the field trip permission forms last Friday, so please make sure to get those in. Um, cost of the field trip is $17 per student. Um, I had a ton of people volunteer to be chaperones, so at our team meeting, my fifth grade team meeting this week, we're going to be talking as a grade level how many seats that we have on the bus and how many chaperones we have from each class. We're probably going to have to pull some names out of a hat because I have way more than five um, <laughs> that I had set for the limit. So. I will keep you updated on that prob probably towards the end of the week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but at this time, I'm going to get you guys off to the strategy session. Hey, Room 21 Rockstar Scholars. Welcome to the home of Room 21, RikerDRockstars.Weebly.com. Hey, I have a ton of strategies, Room 21 Rockstars, and... If we happen to have a snow day this week, you will have even more time to earn even more house points because, as you guys can see, uh, based on the house point standings, the house points are incredibly close. Every single house is neck and neck, and you are going to want to earn as many house points as possible to put your house in the lead. So a couple of ways that you can do so. Here we go, guys. If you go to the Parents tab and... <clears throat> excuse me, and then go to the weekly newsletter section, you guys are going to find our weekly newsletter with the um, different challenges on the back of the newsletter, the Rockstar Challenge of the Week, the Google Classroom Question of the Week, which you can either enter on paper or you can go to our classroom account, guys, and go ahead and tell me <coughs> if you agree or disagree with the statement that people find a way through just about anything, which was one of our themes, one of the themes of the City of Ember. So, our newsletter is available there. I also wanted to um, take you guys over to our classroom page really briefly. Let's just go ahead and log in there really quick. Because what I have posted is actually a cell study um, Google slide, as I promised on Friday when we created our similes to help us remember the different functions of the organelles and our songs and videos that we created along with that. So if you guys click onto the study guide, which you'll be able to fully access, um, there are a couple of things. I have the PowerPoint or the slide that we've been using in class to talk about the parts, and you're going to notice that you're going to see the name of the organelle and then the function of the organelle. And then on the slide following, so for instance, the cell wall, let me just put this into full blast mode here. So we have the cell wall page, Okay, the slide after that, you're going to actually find the group and their chant. So here is a cell wall chant. Two, ready, go. Cell wall, 
is a protector and supporter, like a doctor. Okay. So there we have cell wall. We have cell membrane. Once again, guys, we have the part or the organelle, and then we have the function of the organelle, the job that it performs, and we have all of these different videos that we have in place here. Here's the one on uh, nucleus. Um, <laughs> So guys, this is here for you to use to study. And additionally, we have the animal cells that we have available here. And the cool thing is, if you know the function of the parts of the plant cell, of the organelles of the plant cell, then you also know the function of the animal cell organelles because they are all the same. So that Google slide, guys, is available right here on our classroom page. It's the very first thing at the very top for you guys to go ahead and check out. And that's going to be available up all throughout our science unit and I'm going to be adding different things to that so you can check back in. It's an awesome interactive study guide that you can use to make sure you're getting down all of the parts of the organelle uh, of the cell and all the organelle and the functions of each organelle. So let's head over to the vodcast section of the vodcast really quickly guys and I am actually going to embed the secret hashtag right here right now. The secret hashtag for the week is hashtag Pi day, hashtag Pi day, and you have to say that with incredible passion while looking like you are eating a piece of pie, so, and you will earn yourself your five house point scholar. So bring that in tomorrow, bring that in sometime this week with an incredible amount of passion, and you will earn your house points there as well. So in terms of some strategies that I, and, and activities that I have available for you guys to work on this week to kind of cement down all the math concepts that we're learning right now, we have um, a ton of sites for area and perimeter, which you guys are really rocking um, in class right now. So a couple of things that you might want to check out. First of all, I have the same two IXL sites from last week. You can earn two house points for each of those problems that you complete. But I have a couple of other areas that I thought were really neat. First of all, there's a Khan Academy module. So what this means is when you open this, you can go to any of these sections, and these are lessons. So you can go to find area by counting unit squares, find area with partial units, create rectangles. You choose what you want. But if you come to the overview tab, you can have a practice assessment, 17 questions, and then actually practice those out. So that's available there. It's kind of, once again, like I always say, like a buffet. You kind of have to choose what you want, take what you want from it, and then leave the rest that you already have down. So if you complete one of those, each module that you complete, I will give you 10 house points. But you have to have the evidence that you did complete it. So the work that you use, all of those different things, that's available there, guys, for Khan Academy. And then finally, there's one more IXL site that I found that's really good that mixes up perimeter and area. It's a mixed review. Once again, you can get two house points. But you guys can always come back to all of the other quarter three math concepts that we've learned so far. This whole section of the page. Each of these problems is worth one point for the week, guys. Like I said last week, um, I also have videos that I created on how to find the area, how to find the perimeter, and then how to find the area of a right triangle. Those are also all available there as well. As I said last week, you can get 10 house points for each of those videos. And once again, show me your proof that you put in the time, effective effort, focus, use your strategies um, with that video as well. The math no guessing riddle of the week is back to an actual riddle. So I need you to tell me my number if you want to get 10 house points there. The math challenge of the week is pretty cool. It's called Cookie Monsters. Give it a try. It's more so um, this week kind of making combinations of things, but it's a really cool math challenge of the week that you guys can complete. As well as all of these problems I still have up here, guys. If you did not complete them, you can get five house points for each one of these. You can pick and choose. You don't have to do them all, but once again, we have that available there. Our writing fix of the week that's going to be actually be worth 20 house points. Now, when I say 20 house points, I'm looking for some incredible effective effort with this particular assignment. And it reads, in the city of Ember, Loris Harrow, who is Dune's father, finds the note that Lena and Dune drop down to the city after they escape in the movie that we watched on Friday. So I want you guys to continue the story. Now what? Now that Dune's dad has the note that they got out of Ember, what is he going to do with this information? So you have to continue the story. So here, guys, you're writing a story. Now, I'm not going to put a page limit on this or anything like that, but I want you to think, if I am offering you 20 house points for this task, I am expecting an incredible level of effective effort 
as well as, a, you know, a good chunk of story that you can come in and share with the class. So that is your writing fix of the week. Now I have one other area in science this week, guys, that is exceptional for cells, and that is called SOL Pass. We visited it a few times um, this year already. The reason I love this, when you get to SOL Pass, you have to come down and choose 5.5 living systems, and you're going to find a ton of things that deal with what we're learning in class. So for instance, we have a cell drag and drop activity. Now if this little um, doohickey comes up here, guys, you're just gonna enter in our login information. We're Barrett in Stafford. Our password is Tigers, and then you're just gonna hit login. And then you'll actually be able to complete these deals. This is an animal cell where you get to actually practice dragging and dropping the different components to the animal cell. Okay, so once again, this is under Science 4.5. Under 5.5 Living Systems, you can choose any of these areas to go under, as well as there is a cell wrap um, that you guys might also appreciate. Anything that you complete here will be worth five house points, but once again, show me that you put in that effective effort to earn those house points. With that being said, scholars, there are a ton of ways for you to earn house points this week, so I am looking for who is taking the initiative and earning as many house points as possible. Now I'm going to send you guys back over to Mr. Reichard in person. Rockstar families, I hope that those strategies were successful. I hope that you have an incredibly awesome, relaxing, and wonderful week. Man, we had an awesome week last week in class. I cannot wait to replicate that again. And if we get a snow day here or there this week, we will... Just battle through it and be ready to rock and roll when we do return. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, do not hesitate to contact me. You can email, call, anything that you need because you guys are the incredibly best families in Stafford County, Virginia. And I will see you all next week.